Hey everybody, it's Lucas from Swigerbond here and I'm back with some more Tomb Raider The Last Revelation for the PlayStation 1, played here using a PlayStation 2. In the last video, I was able to um, kind of conquer the Tomb of Thermocat. I've still got a little bit to do. Um, I actually had a game of Sunet, uh, an ancient Egyptian game, and I've never won before. Basically, you play against an Egyptian god and if you lose, you have to take a longer route to get to the exit, but if you win, um, you get a shorter route. And I actually won and I was so elated that I'd actually won I was like come on I've actually beat the game and it's you know at its own uh, at its own game um, but then I read on some forums that actually it's not that hard to win so I was kind of deflated anyway before I start I just want to say thank you so much for taking the time to check out one of my retro let's play videos I really appreciate it um, if you are enjoying my content hit that red subscribe button smash that bell notification icon to be notified every time I upload a brand new Tomb Raider related video or indeed any retro gaming content at, at all I'm also on Twitter Tumblr and TikTok and you can find the links in the video description so let's get started uh, so what happened was um, I won and some cages emerged in the room so I believe I can kind of climb on top of them somehow and then get to the exit so I don't know how long this video is actually going to be but it's going to be a lot of fun just finishing the level knowing that I, I'd actually kind of bested the game so it looks like I can um, I can climb on these cages but I don't know how to do it. I think I've got to go round to do it. So we'll pop down here and then we'll go up the ramp. So yeah, it's amazing. I was like, I didn't even know what I was doing. Uh, now the thing I actually picked up, and I want to show you guys if I've still got it, was I picked up the rules of Senate. And look at this, um, and I didn't even need them. To win the game, get all your pieces off the board by landing them on the final anchor square. On your turn, spin the sticks. Your throw is the number of white slides showing. Okay, if no white slides... So you can see you've got the rules there, basically. You can pause the video to read them in full. But yeah, it's just like... That's kind of, <laughs> that's kind of what it is. And I was like... Right, and I just randomly won. So... That, I thought that was pretty cool. Right, so I need to actually get across now using these cages. So it's like it's just giving me full access to the exit. The problem is, am I able to get across to the other side? In fact, can I? Oh. I can't grab onto the ceiling, which is a bit unusual. But I'm wondering, I don't know if I, I'm going to be able to make this this jump. It looks a bit too far. We'll give it a try, though. Oh, I just made it by the skin of my teeth. How? I don't know. Yeah, they really get Lara moving, don't they? I don't know if I'm going to be able to make this jump from where I am. It's possible, but we'll see how it goes. Yeah, once again, just made it. So, yeah, this should take me near the exit now. Because apparently, as I said, if you lose, you have to um, go through hell. You have to collect, I think, some pieces of an artifact just to be able to escape. So now I've got round to the other side. Where can I go here? That's the thing. What's the point of all these... Um, Ancient uh, cages rising up. And what's down here? Let's see what we got. Okay, wow. Underground cavern. Let's move around. This looks absolutely gorgeous. Oh my god. Wow, we. That's impressive. Get these devils or whatever they are. I love the fact that they just recycled the Tomb Raider 1 sounds <laughs> from the walls, which is pretty cool. And this door opens up. So, that's cool, but what's in this room? And will this just take me down to the exit? If so, this is going to be a very short video. Okay. We have some um, 
Egyptian architecture and some pots so let's grab I think that's Uzi clips well, I don't think there's anything in the other the other part so it's kind of annoying all right first we've got an altar here this is strange does it have a purpose as I said like look how much work core design put into the levels I mean it's not like um, I don't know Tomb Raider 3 which was great don't get me wrong but like it's not like Tomb Raider 3 where you'd have things that just didn't look right here everything looks so authentic so they've definitely done their homework I'd love to know if they actually visited Egypt or you know to get uh, to get the look and feel because it definitely really does look and feel like Egypt not that I've ever been but if if I had this is what I would imagine it would be like absolutely terrifying so we're gonna move oh there's another enemy where do they keep coming from yeah like you were ever gonna reach me in time mate okay but yeah this is like an easier route which is so cool I didn't fancy like the other route because apparently um, like you get chased around by a giant fireball or fire spirit or something which can set you on fire or burn you or something. I thought no, I don't fancy doing that. Oh, as you can see I've been mauled to death. Let's take him out. He must have been waiting so long just to eat me. And we have a trapdoor on the ground. Let me guess. I'm going to be attacked, right? No? Okay. They don't want me. That's cool. Alright, let's pop down here. Tra la 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 la. Alright. Oh, death beetles, of course. There would be, wouldn't there? Alright, I can't get out of here. Okay, there's another pole. We'll get up here. Lara. Climb up, Lara. Climb up. There you are. Little bastards, they are. Vicious little bastards. So, am I going back to where I was before? Don't know if I am. No, this is definitely a new area. Good. Keep me just high enough so I can spin backwards. Let me just check my health. We'll use a med pack. Just in case. We've got to be near the end now, surely. We've done everything. We should be able to get out of here and exit the level. Might even get a cool FMV sequence as well, which would be nice. And once again, there's another large med pack there. We will take that. Very rewarding. Just what we want. We will, oh, God. More devil dogs. They're probably not dogs. I don't even know what they are, but they're just everywhere. Okay, they're just sitting there chilling. Kind of reminds me of the gatekeeper and the key master from Ghostbusters. They're just chilling there. So, what do I do in this room? There's a, I'm going to save it here, just in case this is a trap. Because it, <laughs> I've seen Indiana Jones. I know what happens when you try to take something that doesn't belong to you. <laughs> So we'll see there's like a beam of light or something. So I'm wondering if I need to pick that up or interact with it in some way. Let's check it out. Okay. I can't get to it, whatever it is. So. All right. Very strange. Oh, okay. Can I turn it round? Can I interact with these things? I wonder if I can. No, I don't think I can. I think it's just part of the scenery. Very weird puzzle. But yeah, it kind of looks like the... Oh, okay. It shifted. The light kind of shifted up there. I don't know if I can do anything to it. But if not, that's fine. If if I do, that's still okay. I just need to 
figure this out. Oh, hello. The ramp. Okay, what now? Alright, there's another pole. Do I want to go down the pole though? Problem is, I can't see anything. I don't know if this is ground or what. What? What is this? Right, it is ground. Okay. Right, so it looks like I've got to climb up using the pole. For some reason, I thought I had to climb down. I wasn't sure if uh, this was doable. Oh, bats. Of course there would be bats. Okay. Lara, get your pistols out. What's the matter with you? Shoot the bats. Honestly. Can't take her anywhere. Right, okay, we've got the bats. So now we're just going to climb up. Right, let's climb up. Now, where do I go? That's the question. I need to... Oh, really? You're really going to do this to me? There's nowhere to go. Can you believe it, guys? There's nowhere I can go. There's a pole. And there's... Oh, hang on. Yes, there is. Yes, there is. There's... I think there's an entrance. Oh, hang on. What am I talking about? Yes, there is. There's somewhere I can go. There's... Actually, two places. There's, there's the level exit. And there's a door. So, if I can do this, that would be nice. But basically, I need to check out this room and then hit the exit. Come on, please let me do this. Yes. Always worry when that happens because you've got to be like proper precise sometimes. But look at this as like a room and there's no purpose for it but look how cool it looks you've got the they look like i don't know treasure or you know sarcophaguses or something like that ancient burial things maybe but yeah that's pretty cool maybe it was just for show anyway i think once i reach the doors that would be my exit so let's hope so all right Looks like we're not out of the woods yet, though. What in God's name do I need to do here? Right, we've got molten lava. Um. Oh my God. I feel like I'm in a freaking Terminator 2 or something with all the lava. I don't know what I'm going to do here. I'm going to have to think of something. All right, what is the purpose of this? So it's taking me down here. This is where the... Um, oh, the beams of light. Okay. Oh, right. So I think I have to move these things into like the, the light or do something. Ah, see that? They're color-coded. So I need to put the green on the green, red on the red. Um, and I've got ramps. So it's another one of these puzzles. So I think I'm going to just try and drag this down. So it's interesting because I kind of thought the level would end um, because they kind of give you two routes here. I know a lot of people said on the forum that they try um, they try all the routes. And this must be um, like my pieces that kind of disappeared maybe. But I don't understand why there's two green though. Aha. Right, so. you got one red. And the two green go down here, that's why. But. Okay, right. I got it. I got it. So I can't. For some reason, Lara can't pull this back, and I don't know why. Is there something blocking it? Yeah, I think the green's blocking it, so. Push this forward out of the way and then we will pull we'll pull the other one back 
it's very weird like she hasn't got much spatial uh, space to do things here it's, it's like very early Tomb Raider you know she needs space Lara what are you doing that's not wit oh, for God's sake Lara I only want to push it once stop there we go but yeah if you keep your finger on the button she doesn't stop so it looks like this is what I need to do now I need to get back back into that room or maybe I don't know but this is Tomb Raider 4 it's uh, extremely confusing it makes you think you've got to do more than you do you know that's the problem I kind of have with it right she's not I can't pull it anymore so I've got to push it and then maybe I can push it on one of those things there we go at least it's pretty simple anyway we'll go left I think I don't know if I can actually touch the beams though that's the thing I'm worried about don't really want to get fried okay I will move this over there Okay, that's one beam. Alright. Well, if that's there, can't I just... No, I can't. I was thinking maybe I could just push it that way, but I can't. It's blocked off. I don't know whether this is correct, by the way. But we will give it a go. Uh. Or maybe it'll exit. Show me an exit in this, this sort of area. Stop, Lara. Stop, Lara. She's doing it again. She's just messing around now. So you have to make sure again that you let go because if you don't, she just keeps on pushing or pulling it. Right, okay. Get these pieces. Yeah, this is actually a lot of hard work. This is the shorter route, but I suppose it's easier than being chased by some fire demon anyway. That's for sure move this back all right she can't pull because she'd have no room so we'll push it all the way over here and hopefully I'm hoping that they're not going to discriminate the fact that I put two greens you know they're, they're both the same so I hope they don't think that oh you have to put one in a certain place and another they're both green they should both do the same job hopefully Yeah, they're in. They're in place. What does this do exactly? This is really weird now. <laughs> Makes no sense. So I don't even know if this is correct. Okay, it's really weird. The beams are different. So, as you can see, that's a lighter green and this is a darker green. But what the hell's the difference? I'm just going to swap them around, guys. I don't think they're correct. Apologies if they are, but nothing's changed. So, I'm just going to try a little bit of a switcheroo here. Lara, stop it. Ridiculous. But yeah, they're actually two different shades of green. I didn't even see that. So I think this needs to go to the right and that one needs to go to the left, maybe. We'll give it a go. And then if nothing changes, then I'm just going to nip back upwards. Again, apologies, but I've never done this puzzle before, so... I don't know if what I'm doing is correct because it doesn't kind of indicate to me um, it's indicated the red one the red one's correct but yeah I didn't even see it's like two two different shades of green here yes see how like it's it's changed and then that one goes on that one there you go Brilliant. I'm sorting it out, guys. I'm sorting it out. 
It's probably a really simple puzzle, but you know, for me it's like climbing Everest a lot of the time with this game. Right, I don't know. I'm hoping this will just open the door and I can end the level. I don't want to really have to pick anything else up, but you know. Hey, we've gone like 20 minutes, so we've got a good video or two out of this. I thought we'd only get like 5 minutes. There we are. And the devil dogs or whatever they are have, uh, have woken up in the room, so now I need to return. Oh, I'm gone, or do I? This area's opened up a little bit. Can I get up this way? Okay, I should be able to do some sort of jump. Maybe it'll give me a short pull up there. Maybe rather than having to use the pole, who knows. We'll give it a whirl. Well, we might as well check it out now it's open anyway. Yeah, it's back to the pole. Yeah, so I will need to go down, unfortunately. Okay, I'm going to save it here, just in case anything goes wrong with the pole. But we should be alright. But now it looks like those beams of light might indicate an item or something that I need to get. Save, okay. Right. Okay. Okay. Okay, and we'll just slowly slide down to the bottom. There we go. Beautiful. Lara, you're an absolute goddess. Right, now with my pistols blazing, we'll get these friggin' overused enemies. Look like dogs with cornettos on. There we are. Take them out. What is that? Object. I should be able to get to now. Oh, just move out the bloody way. You can get caught and clip on things. So we. Oh, hang on. No, no, no. It's opened another way that way. But let me just. I was going to check out the light source, but no, it wouldn't let me. I guess it's not an object, just another passageway. This is exciting, though. Again, very Tomb Raider 3. But this ain't no Area 51. Okay. Hopefully this should be it now. We can get out of here. See what we got. Oh, there's not more, is there? Oh, there we go. For I have served the god of light, Horus, at the time of plagues. To read this inscription means that the ruler of darkness is free. Set is released to walk abroad amongst the mortals, enlisting his armies of the night to serve him. He who removes the amulet and releases the dark power of Set shall summon the seven god hearts, for only the power of light will again imprison him. And armor of Horus shall set the ever living, be confined for all eternity. Summon the light of Horus. Through the light of the millennial constellations, into his temple, the ageless pyramid, into his likeness, set in stone. In his armor, he is once more poised to battle and defeat. Set. Right, I think that should do it actually. Um, I 
think that's everything. I don't know if there's anywhere else I can go or whether the level's supposed to end now or what. I've just been that way. Yeah, I think this is the next level, the Guardian of Semaket. By the looks of it, it doesn't look like there's anywhere else I can go though. This is ridiculous. But anyway, I'm going to save the game now anyway. Okay, all that's left to say is thank you very much. This has been Lucas from Swagger Blonde. Thank you so much for taking the time to check out one of my retro Let's Play videos. If you've enjoyed my content, why not subscribe? Smash that button now. Also smash the bell notification icon. That way you will be instantly subscribed to my channel and notified every time I upload any Tomb Raider related content or indeed any other retro gaming uh, content as well. Um, comment, like, share this video with everybody and you can also follow me on tiktok twitter and tumblr and the links will be in the video description uh check those out as well tiktok especially because um i kind of break down the videos a little bit they're not full um let's plays but they give you a little taste um of kind of my channel as well and i've got basically a load of tomb raider 3 on there um little bits from my full let's play so uh i think they make for quite an entertaining watch thank you so much look after yourselves and i'll see you next time for some more tomb raider <laughs>